I'm in a weird place now. Good morning everybody and welcome to the Bath Chronicles. It is Thursday. I've got music playing, which means I either have to have music playing or not. I hope it's not too annoying as I talk. Um, today was going to be an interview with someone, but alas, she's not able to do it today as it transpires. So it's just old me and a bit of a soundtrack. But we will try and keep it fresh, vital, interesting, all the above and below. And we start with news that Poundland have sold two 20,000 one pound engagement rings. So there's lots of cheap people in the UK. I was gonna say cheap cunts, but can't swear because it's Instagram. Especially can't say that word. Wow, all bling, no sting. I mean, it's a pretty weird article, isn't it? Do you think most people are buying them as actual engagement rings? Dearest someone, you fill up the light in my life. Here is something that says, I love you like nothing else can. An engagement ring from fucking Poundland. Fucking hell, well, I went into Poundland yesterday and I couldn't see any of their five pound dildos. They look like rabbits. Just maybe all the people buying the engagement rings have already took them all up. Oh, bit tired today. I saw Ghost Poet yesterday. For any of you who know that Ghost Poet is kind of a, a UK kind of hip hop rap spoken wordy kind of massive dude, but he had a bit of a crazy live backing band. Really rocked out. Sun Clash here. Sorry, I just had to turn off my music and figure out how to do it. Um, and that was great. Let me show you some proper footage from um, Ghost Perp. KEXP takeover in London. Um, this is pretty funny. Boy named Trump who fell asleep during State of the Union hailed the hero. So if any of you watched this, Trump was trying to, um, you know, bring out all different kinds of props to distract from the fact that he's, you know, an evil maniac. And one of them was a child that had to leave his school because he was bullied because he had a Trump as a surname. So he was sat next to the uh, child with cancer who liked Trump, apparently. Um... And there's Melania, his inflatable wife. Um, yeah, the kid fell asleep. I mean, not a surprise, it was on pretty late. And, um, you know, he's probably exhausted from all the name-calling. So it does take its toll. 
Right, in this rather um, sketchy bath, I'm leaving us with a, with a great little fact here, that the, um, the woman who invented GPS, oh, okay, her name is currently being blocked from here, but Dr. Someone Rather, this is a lovely picture of the, um, the lady who invented it, and I think it's, it, is, it is fascinating. Um, sometimes I think where what we use in such a daily way comes from, and that often those people that are responsible for our lives are from, you know, ethnic backgrounds, uh, you know, backgrounds where w w maybe, you know, in our naive way we wouldn't assume that certain people would have done in the same way that, you know, we can often knock the Islamic culture, but without Islam, we're all fucked because they gave us numbers, they gave us noughts and ones, and without binary code, we would really be up shit creek with no paddle, you know, without numerology and all kinds of stuff. So every time you um, use your set now, I remember that it was this, this amazing woman, woman of color whose innovation and intellect was responsible for the set nav. So, um, yeah, just do keep that in mind. Keep love in your heart and keep the bath on your screens. And do remember to subscribe to me now on YouTube because I'm trying to become famous. Not that famous, but famous enough to have power and get sent free stuff in the post. So do remember to subscribe and have a lovely Thursday.